So day two will kick off then with the Nathaniel Lacey and Partners Solicitors Novice Hurdle, which is a bit of a mouthful, two miles and six furlongs. And at the top, we've got Bologna Stasi for Thomas Rogers, on course Obi Wan, Island Tan, David Hooley, Postman Gilles, David Robertson, Anisa Bunny, Stu Gray, Deloon for Obi Wan, Siberian Paradise for Derek Hinton, and Song for Arbon, Padre Hogan, a field of eight. In this two and three quarter mile novice hurdle, away and racing and heading off towards the first of the flights of hurdles that they've got to negotiate. And it's Postman Gilles who is in the lead, with 12 of them to get over, and leading currently by about three lengths to Anisa Bunny, closest to us in second. As they get to the first, just they're all safely over, Island Town, just the back marker at this stage. But it's Postman Gilles in the lead then for David Robertson. Clear by about two and a half lengths or so, I'd say. From Song for Our Bond for Padre Hogan in second. On the outside of that one is Stu Gray's and Nisa Bunny in the black with a green hoop. The black with a green sleeves on the inside of that one belongs to Bologna Stasi. And the next to that one, the Quarters of Siberian Paradise. First of all, we want to his next. That's on course. The other one, Deloon, is towards the back. And Island Town in the purple jacket for David Hooley is the back marker at this point. Skipping over flight three then, and all safely over it, although below Nastasi was nearly below the deck as well. And it's Postman Gilles, who's opened up by six now, to on course in second. Siberian Paradise is in third. And then Song for Arbonne. The leader. It's a good five or six lengths clear. I'm having difficulty keeping the others in shot as this leader skips over flight four. Really tight turn there. A sharpish track as they break the way up the straight. They'll have a complete circuit to go still. But it's Postman Gilles who's in the lead by about six to the Obi Wan pair and our second and third on course and Deloon. And the other one whose head is just poking into shot is Siberian Paradise as they're heading towards the next flight. Is flight number five. I'll we'll safely over that one. That'll be the final flight on the next circuit. And Postman Gilles will go past the big screen and past the winning post with a lead of about four and a half lengths or so to De Luna on course second and third. And a line of three of them. Song for our Bond Island Town has made a forward move in Siberian Paradise. Just creeping up on the inside of them there. Below Nastasia attempted to make it a line of four. And Anisa Bunny is just the back marker at this stage now. The leader skips over flight six. The rest of them follow suit. And the lead is down to a little more than two and a half now. That's the smallest margin that lead's been throughout the race so far. But it's still in front postman Gilles. From the Loon in second, and Siberian Paradise Island Tan is the one who's made significant progress from the back into third place now, going past on course. Bologna Stasi is still there in with a chance. Song for our Bond, likewise, and Anisa Bunny might be at the back, but he's far from out of it at this point. We've still got more than a mile to go. And Postman Gilles has been in the lead all the way. Comes into flight number eight. It's over it nicely, they're all over it okay, they've been hurdling well, these novices. Uh, Postman Gilles continues to lead. De Loon is in second. Island Town is third. On course four, and Bologna Stasi. Siberian Paradise on the outside of that one, and these are bunnies trying to creep up the inside as they get over flight number nine. With the strangely placed crowd at this track. As they begin to Head towards the final three flights now. Postman Gilles leads by only a length and a half. To De Loon in second at Island Town. Looks to be going exceptionally well in third as they get over to third from home. Good jump by on course in fourth. And Anisa Bunny is creeping ever closer on the inside. But it's still Postman Gilles. He hasn't really asked him to quicken yet. Just toying with them in front. But Island Town looks to 
be travelling nicely as well. The loon comes under a little bit of pressure and he's a bunny. He's now fourth. They're scrubbing along behind. But it's Postman Gill who's gone for home now. I think as they make this swing towards home. Three and a half furlongs still to go. Two more flights to go. This is the second last. Over it they go. And it's Postman Gill still in the lead from Island Town. He hasn't asked for anything for that one yet. And he's a bunny switches around the outside. The loon is still there. Suddenly Island Town caught a bit flat footed. Song for Arbonne is trying to run on. But it's Postman Gill in the lead. Coming down on the final flight. Being strongly pressed now by Anisa Bunny. They come down to this final flight and is the lead going to change for the first time in the race? Indeed it is. Anisa Bunny pokes his head in front. Between the two of them comes Deloon. There's four out of line now. Song in Arbonne comes up on the outside. Over the final flight they go. Deloon is now in the lead. Deloon being pressed by Song for Arbonne. Song for Arbonne's beginning to get up on the near side and Song for Arbonne looks a stronger. Island Town's now running on but Song for Arbonne's going to take it. Song for Arbonne wins the first race of the day from Deloon in second. Island Town is third, fourth with Siberian Paradise in on course and these are bunny dropped right out of it. I mean, it looked like he was in with a big shout at the final flight. But it's another winner for Padre Hogan and he's becoming something of a force and I'm sure it'll be a popular tip in the tipping tournament next week, but Song for Armand takes it for Padraig Hogan. Deloon second for Obi Wan. Island Town, David Hooley third. Siberian Paradise, Derek Hinton fourth. And on course for Obi Wan, was fifth.